Hiya, I'm Flint, a hobbycraft artisan and cross-stitch expert. I love cross-stitch, it's a nice and methodical craft that lets you calm down and take your time. Plus, it looks pretty at the end. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn your cross-stitch patterns into a patch, ready to put on clothes, bags, tea towels, anything you can iron. This method is a no-sew method, which is great if you can't really hand sew, like me. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Hobbycraft channel and click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. You will need a completed cross stitch. This is one I designed, and if you're interested in making your own cross stitch pattern, be sure to check out our video on how. A felt sheet, scissors, heat and seal ultra bond, an iron on adhesive, an iron, and the item you'd like to place your patch. I'm using this cotton zipped pouch. First thing is to cut your cross stitch to size. Cut to the size you'd like your patch, plus around a centimetre extra on each side. Use a line of holes on your Ada as a guide to cut a straight edge. Fold over each side a centimetre in, again using a line of holes as a guide. Unfold and trim your corners, removing the bulk. Fold again and press your cross stitch on a medium heat, no steam. Cut out a patch of felt bigger than your folded cross stitch. We'll also need to cut out two patches of heat and seal, one the size of your cross stitch and one the size of your felt patch. With your iron on medium, press the back for eight seconds or until the adhesive is stuck. Once cooled, here is a good time to trim off any of the adhesive poking out the side of your cross stitch. We don't want that showing up on our patch. Remove the paper backing of the heat and seal and centre your cross stitch on your felt patch. Again, press for 8 seconds on a medium heat or until it's stuck. Now's time for the same again. Place the rough size of the bigger heat and seal on the back of your felt, pressing until stuck. Trim your edges, peel off the paper backing and find your item of choice to stick it to and press again until fully adhered. And ta-da! All done.